Uh, this will be tutorial 18 of our Spring Boot application and today we, we are going to be talking about handling errors in the in the application. So how do you handle errors that might occur? Now, there are three uh, different types of errors that you might encounter in your application. One of them is a compile time error and I'm going to show you how it works. So these compile time errors are simply syntax errors like this. Okay, so before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button below to subscribe so that you kind of get updates when I make new lessons and also you kind of motivate me to continue making these lessons. So this is a compile time error. So you see uh, an error stop uh, just by the, 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 the left of the, the window. So it tells you syntax error insert complete uh, insert semicolon to complete the block statement. So, that's quite easy. But there are some other errors that are also syntax errors, they are compile time errors, and you also uh, get some, some kind of uh, uh, recommendation on what to do and how to solve them. So for instance, if I use something like, let's just, let's just give an example, uh, spring Okay, now it tells me uh, this is an error and now it gives an option and in this case it says fix setup, create this, uh, blah 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 blah. So these are uh, different kind of errors you can, you can use. So in this case it offers a way to solve it. So to solve this you can just click uh, one of these items and it, it gives you a head start to solving this problem. So these ones are simply compile time errors. They are syntax errors uh, or kind of syntax errors. Now, another set of error is a runtime error, right? So the runtime error in this case, uh, in the compile time, there is no error that occurs in compile time. And, but in the runtime, you receive error. So that was what happened uh, in this particular tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we had the same problem. So I'm going to run this application and let's see what happens. So I'm going to right click and just run it as a Spring Boot application and let's see. <coughs> All right, so on the surface, it seems that everything is working fine. Uh, that is on the surface. But if we now go to make a request using REST work client, REST advanced REST client, we find out that we don't get any result or we see that the error now shows up. So we are trying to make a put request to slash locations slash L1 uh, and we have the request body as well. Okay, so okay, uh, we want to make a delete request to this uh, URL. We don't need any request body here. So if I send it, uh, it, it now says it gives me this error. So now this is a runtime error and it means you need to go back to your API to try to locate where this error is coming from and solve it. So the easiest thing to do, anytime you encounter an error, look at the console, right? So just look at the console. You can see that there are a whole lot of things there, but let me explain to you how it works. Now, once it displays all this info, be below it, then you see explanation of what the error is all about, okay? So, now look at this line that says error, and then you can just scroll this way, it says application run field, okay? Now the first step, it tells you application run field. Now, you need to then uh, go down all the way and look for where you see uh, what's like cannot or maybe uh, uh, this says there's already location controller method okay but you need to try to drill down to find exactly where this error is coming from so in this case in this case it's telling us uh, there's already location controller bean method, okay? 
So the first thing you need to figure out is that this error is coming from the location controller. So, and then you need to uh, check around. Okay. Um, okay, now we are not getting anything much to use to solve this problem, except that this error is coming from the uh, location controller. Okay. I'm going to highlight this line that says cost by. So this cost by uh, try to give you a pinpoint exactly where this error is coming from. It says ambiguous mapping. So it tells you it comes from the location controller file and it comes from the mapping annotation. So it comes from the request mapping annotation. So that helps you to drill down. Okay, let's see if we can get something else from this error. Um, okay, so it, it now you can now say here it tells you uh, delete delete location so it's now in point the the particular method that con uh, contains this error so it, it's the delete method the request mapping and location controller so i'm going to go uh, right there and then figure it out so this is the location controller file and this is the delete method and this is the request mapping so this is where this error is coming from and now, if you look at the request method, we are trying to make a delete and we are using put. If you want to do a delete, it's going to be delete. So I'm going to simply change it to delete. So now if I relaunch this application, let's see. So at this point, you can see that, okay, we still have some error. So I'm going to save it since I've not saved it and I'm going to right click. And uh, run it again. A Spring Boot up. Okay, so it starts running as well like before. So at this point, you can see that no error occurs. So we actually have found out the error. So the three things you want to do is find out the file containing the error, find out the method containing the error, and if you can drill down to the particular part of this method, good. If not, then try to figure out what this error is in this method. So if you have the error here, try to look around and find out what it's all about. So let's now make the same request again. So first I'm going to make a get request to, to the location so that we get all the locations in the system. So I'm going to make a get request. And we have three locations. And now we are going to delete one of these locations using the delete uh, a delete request. So I'm going to make it to uh, Elvan and uh, we don't need the request body so i'm going to send and it says okay now to check if it works i'm going to make a get request again and this time uh two locations and i'm sending it and you see it's only two locations so the delete method is working now so this is how to handle errors at our call i'm going to stop here also try to make a delete request to the users and the posts and see how it works. I'd like to thank you for viewing. So in the next uh, tutorial, we continue with another part of this lesson, like another section of this lesson. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe and also like, and also if you have challenges, leave it in the comment box below this video.